Well, welcome to lecture 14. What we're going to do is continue our review. Okay. What I've written here is we're going to fill in the blank and we're going to change the parameters. Okay. So the first thing I say is what happens to the, let's look at kinetic energy. What happens to the kinetic energy when both the mass and velocity are double? So let's look at the expression for kinetic energy. One half m v squared. All right. So we're doubling the mass and we're doubling the speed or velocity. Two squared is four times two is eight. So this is eight times, <clears throat> excuse me, one half m v squared. Okay. Eight times one half m, one half m v squared is the kinetic energy, not mv squared. If you multiply by one half times eight, you'll get four mv squared. <coughs> Excuse me. Four mv squared is not four times the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is one half mv squared. So the answer is eight times the kinetic energy. So it's increased eight times. Okay. Let's do the same thing, doubling the mass and velocity for potential energy. All right. Potential energy, gravitational potential energy, is simply mgh. We're doubling the mass. We're doubling the velocity. Potential energy doesn't have velocity in it. G is the acceleration due to gravity. It's a constant 10 meters per second squared is what we're taking it to be. H is the height. It has nothing to do with velocity. So this simply becomes 2m times g times h. So it's 2 times m g h and so it's two times the potential energy simply what happens is the potential energy is doubled okay fantastic what should we look at next let's look at momentum linear momentum Mo momentum is m v well, I'm doubling the mass, I'm doubling the speed, so clearly it's four times mv. So the momentum, linear momentum, is quadruple. The mass is doubled, the speed is doubled. These are test questions, simple. Okay, next. Uh, let's look at the centripetal force. Centripetal force. Remember what the word centripetal means, center seeking. The object wants to fly off tangent and it gets keeps getting pulled towards the center. F sub C is M V squared over R. We're not doing anything to the radius, but we are doubling the mass. We're doubling the speed. And so what we end up with is two squared is four times two. So it just becomes eight F C. Okay, I skipped the step. So it's increased eight times. Okay. What about the centripetal acceleration? A sub C is simply V squared over R. Okay. V squared over R. We're doubling the speed. So 2 squared just becomes 4 V squared over R, which is 4 A sub C. Let's keep going. Let's review this. Do it again. What happens to the, we'll fill this in, if, all right, here I'll say when mass is doubled, speed or velocity is quadrupled and the radius is halved.
Okay, so what happens to the? Well, let's start with kinetic energy. Once again, kinetic energy, one half mv squared. What am I doing to the mass? Mass is going to be doubled, so we're going to take 2m. Okay. What am I doing to the speed of velocity? It's quadrupled. Quadrupled simply means multiply by 4. But then we have to square that. And the radius is half. There's no radius in kinetic energy. So what is 4 squared? 4 squared is 16. 2 times 16 is 32. So this is 32 times 1 half mv squared. But 1 half mv squared is kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy is increased by 32 times. 32 times. Potential energy. Let's go. Potential energy is MGH. All right, this is this is easy. The mass is double. There's no speed and there's no radius. So M becomes 2M. And so we just get two times the potential energy. Okay? Simple. No tricks. Next, let's look at momentum. Okie dokie. What do we have? We have momentum is mv. Mass doubled. V is what? What am I doing to the speed? It's quadrupling. Four. So you just simply get two times four is... 8 times mv. So the momentum is increased eightfold or by eight times. Okay, momentum is increased eight times. Next, let's look at centripetal force. Centripetal force. Okay. F sub C is M V squared over R. Now, again, these are the types of problems I ask on my exams. I do not want you to work out big numbers. I just want you to manipulate these equations and double and quadruple and half and essentially review fractions. Okay. So once again, the mass is twice doubled. The speed is quadrupled, 4 V squared. And what am I doing to the radius? Now I have a radius here. So the radius is halved. Okay. So I end up with 2 times 4 squared is 16 divided by 1 half. And then I get mv squared over r. 2 times 16 is 32. What is 32 divided by a half? 32 divided by a half is what? Well, you got to multiply numerator and denominator. Excuse me. Numerator and denominator by 2. I multiply by 2. And multiply by 2 over 2 is 1. The 2s go out. Okay? So 2 times this is 2 times 32. 2 times 16 is 32 times 2. So it's 64 times mv squared over r. So it's increased... 64 times. All right, centripetal acceleration. Okay. A sub C. It's V squared over R. Once again, the speed is being quadrupled. And the radius is half. So we end up with 16 divided by 1 half v squared over r. 16 divided by a half is 32 times v squared over r. It's increased 32 times. Look, 16 divided by a half. Suppose you have $16. How many half dollars are in $16? The answer is 32. Once again, you can multiply by 1, which is 2 over 2. 
twos go out, two times 16, 32. Go to Khan Academy and review your fractions. All right? So these are the types of problems I'll ask. Plug in, double the speed, quadruple, have the radius. What happens to momentum? What happens to kinetic energy? Uh, what happens to centripetal force? These are the types of questions I will ask simply. You do not need a calculator. Maybe you need your fingers. Maybe you need to review compound fractions. Otherwise, you should have no problems with this. All right, see ya.